Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be doing a review of the new NVIDIA drivers that have the G-Sync compatible support and uh, basically it's it's NVIDIA allowing Pascal and Turing cards, so that would be the GTX 10 series or the RTX 20 series to utilize AMD's FreeSync, although they're still keeping it under the G-Sync family brand name on the NVIDIA side. Um, but really what they're doing is they're making use of the VESA open standard that AMD pioneered, which we all know is FreeSync, but it's the NVIDIA will never say the word FreeSync, but it's they're going to call it G-Sync compatible or G-Sync capable, depending on the display. So what I have here is a triple monitor setup. This is the same monitor setup that you've seen in my previous videos. I'm running three of the exact same monitor. This is the Agon. Agon is a sub-brand of AOC. Uh, they are probably currently my favorite uh, monitor manufacturer brand because they give you the best monitors for the lowest price. So this is like a $300 monitor, FreeSync, 144 hertz, 24 inch, 144, I mean 1440p, built-in speakers, dual HDMI, Display Port, everything. It's got like everything: metal stand, height adjust, tilt adjust. Uh, even a headphone kickstand on that opens up on the side and a remote control via USB to like dial in the monitor settings. So best monitor out there, it, NVIDIA thinks so too because it's one of them that's NVIDIA compatible with the G-Sync compatible. So this one is actually officially like one of the 12 legendary monitors that was tested by NVIDIA. I call, I, like, I didn't call it, but it's like, I was like, you know what? This monitor is the most baller monitor out there. 24 inch 1440p 144 hertz hands down like best monitor there is because uh, you can run three of them like on a triple monitor stand and you got like triple 1440p so anyway um, enough of that we're going to show you guys GC compatible how does it work how does it compare to FreeSync so what I have here is the NVIDIA control panel we'll zoom in a little bit so you can see now, this is my first time ever using G-Sync. I've never used G-Sync ever before. This is like day one G-Sync for me. So it's actually a really good thing that NVIDIA did this because now this is another way for them to get other users into their ecosystem, potentially. Because now, like, I, I'm, I was never going to buy a G-Sync monitor ever. I still never am. Um, but I don't have a problem using G-Sync compatible, which is what I already have. So... Uh, if you look, all three of the monitors are the same. AG241QX, that is the model number if you were to pick it up at Micro Center. I got all these at Micro Center because uh, they have it like for like $50 off or something all, almost all the time. Uh, best monitor on the market, all of them compatible. Like I've seen a lot of the YouTubers out there that have been doing overview videos of the G-Sync compatible. I've only seen them do G-Sync, G-Sync compatible, but almost all the videos, like, they're only doing G-Sync capable, which are the ones that are unverified. They're just, like, turning it on in the driver, like what we're doing here, uh, but it's not compatible. So I'm actually testing one of the legendary 12 monitors that are approved by NVIDIA. So I've enabled it for the middle one because that's the main one. The only thing about this, this interface, the NVIDIA control panel, is, like, it's hard to tell if, like, if I make a change here and I've enabled it, I've saved it. Like right now, I guess it's enabled on all of them. Uh, one way for you to actually test if it really is on, there's two ways. Uh, in software, you go to display and you click on G-Sync compatible indicator. I really like this feature. This is an amazing feature. I really think if AMD is watching this, you guys need to put this in your driver because as far as I know, I don't see anything from Radeon settings that tells me that like when I'm playing a game, there's nothing for the system to tell me that FreeSync is actually on and doing anything, at least on the software side, on the operating system side. Now, I'll show you guys another way to verify that it's running on the monitor's OSD. OSD stands for on-screen display. If we bring it up here, if you guys look, if I move this over right there, it says, lo and behold, it says vertical frequency FreeSync. And now it says that for all three of these monitors, which means I have successfully enabled G-Sync compatible, aka FreeSync, in the driver on all of the monitors. Now, the good thing about NVIDIA is if you, or the nice thing about this, is if you undo this and you apply it, 
it will shut off FreeSync completely on the monitors. Unchecking it, apply, and now it's gonna, all the monitors are gonna like flicker, so it looks like it's doing it on all three of them. So now look, so now it's off. Yeah, so now it's, and it's disabled. And see here, G-Sync compatible indicator is now disabled. Like that's grayed out, I can't click on that. So that tells me it's disabled. Now the way to check on the monitor is once again, we go look at the OSD. And there we go, now it's back down to 1440p, 144 hertz. So it's now on 144 hertz. So that tells me that FreeSync really is disabled. Now, uh, keynote difference here between G-Sync compatible, aka NVIDIA's FreeSync versus AMD's FreeSync. Currently, with this monitor, there is no way to, dis to disable FreeSync normally from the monitor's OSD. So there's no way to tell the monitor, regardless of what the operating system does, I don't want you to turn on FreeSync. There's no way to do that on this monitor. Now, the nice thing about NVIDIA is you disable it on NVIDIA, NVIDIA really does turn it off and the monitor says it's turned off. Now with Radeon settings, there's no way to do that. It's like you, you, disa you can disable it in Radeon settings, but it doesn't actually disable it. Like if you check the OSD, it still says FreeSync. It says off in the driver, it says on on the monitor. So I think uh, Radeon settings, AMD needs to do something about that because right now, already from my experience using FreeSync for like two years now, uh, I have never been able to disable it on this particular monitor. But seeing day one and video being able to turn it off, I agree with Jensen's words saying that it either works or doesn't work. And yeah, props from video because you guys got it working and you can turn it off and you can turn it on. So now I'm going to go turn it back on. I'm going to apply that. And notice that I have only enabled it for full screen mode. We'll test enable it for windowed and full screen mode um, in a little bit here. So we're going to go to configure SLI and sure enough, okay good, S SLI is still enabled. So you guys can see here what I'm running is a GTX 1080 SLI setup. You can see the high bandwidth bridge down there is saying that SLI is connected. I'm using my secondary GPU for PhysX. I'm using the primary GPU for all the monitors. So that is pretty nice. I like this topology thing too. Uh, I will say I'm not a fan of NVIDIA. For those that are going to try to tell me that I'm NVIDIA Shield, no, I am not. I am definitely not an NVIDIA. I'm an AMD fan. Uh, I'm using AMD Crossfire Vega 64s. I will be getting Radeon 7 Day 1. I'll be buying it myself. I'm not getting a review sample. Uh, so this setup is like my secondary setup, this 1080 SLI setup, just to see what the competition is doing. But I will admit, NVIDIA Control Panel, though it does look really old, it looks literally like they've got the back and forward and home button from like Internet Explorer 6, which is really, really old but it is functional it does what it needs to do so i don't really think they need to change anything here I, I like their little diagrams and stuff it's really relatively easy to use so for 3d settings we're going to show sli visual indicator i really like this thing uh, crossfire does have something similar but it doesn't actually show you the load indicator uh, physx one we can turn that on as well but i don't think we're going to be seeing that so i enabled that and then i just want to enable make sure that i've got uh, g-sync uh, display indicator on and it's on okay so now we're gonna fire up a game and we're gonna take a look at our settings but before we do that one thing I want to look at here is now I've got GPU Z open for both of my GPUs one thing I did notice with G-Sync is when you enable G-Sync your primary GPU so that's the one on the left here uh, does maintain much higher uh, idle clocks and much higher idle temperature as a result compared to the how it would run if it was without G-Sync enabled. So that's one thing I don't like. I don't like it having to run at an idle, much higher idle power for G-Sync enabled to be, uh, or compatible to be on. You can see the idle power is like 37 watts because of G-Sync. Uh, the one you see on the right is a secondary GPU. If you did not have G-Sync, that is what you would see. Uh, on the primary primary uh, GPU. If you only have one GPU, this is what you would see with G-Sync. This is what you'd see without G-Sync. Okay, so we've booted into the game now. 
And you can see, because I have enabled the SLI visual indicator, you can kind of see it here on, on the overlay. It's kind of like an, a static overlay on the game that you can't get rid of unless you go and disable it in the control panel for the NVIDIA stuff. Um, but you can see SLI is doing its thing. This one indicates the top GPU. This one's the lower GPU. Um, as the frames, as the scene, if the scene is less complex, you'll see the bar shrink. As it gets more complex, if there's more load to the GPUs, you'll see it grow. So I really like that. I, I've never heard any of the reviewers ever mention this thing, but it's always been a thing in the NVIDIA control panel. For those who use SLI, it's a very, very good tool to show you SLI working. Uh, Crossfire does have the same thing. The only difference with Crossfire is Crossfire doesn't have this gauge thing. It, it has a logo that pops up that you can enable. In, the, in Radeon settings to show you that Crossfire is actually doing its thing. So, AMD does have an equivalent. It's just not as uh, interesting. Uh, it doesn't give you as much information as SLI. Um, but, again, it is, at the same time, the trade-off is that it's not as intrusive because some people wouldn't like this thing here. So, it would be nice to, like, get rid of this gauge and just have the SLI. So, I don't know, maybe AMD's one is better, but NVIDIA's one does give you more information. So, that's just a little thing on SLI. Side note there. Uh, you may be wondering, like, how do you know G-Sync is actually running if you don't know how to tell if the frames are smooth or not? Well, right now I can tell you G-Sync is not running, uh, and the reason why it's not running is because I've enabled, if you remember the display here, I enabled G-Sync compatible indicator, and it's not telling me that it's not on. That's because it's not on. Now, the reason why it's not on is because, going back to the control panel, I have specified full screen mode only not windowed or um, borderless windowed so that means exclusive full screen so right now the game is actually running in borderless full screen mode check the system configuration sure enough borderless windowed is selected uh, so in order to get g-sync to work without exiting out of the game and then changing the settings in the nvidia control panel we'll just change it to full screen exclusive you can see 1440p 144 hertz now we're going to apply it Okay, so now you can see, sure enough, G-Sync on right there is the indicator telling us that G-Sync's on, and I mean, honestly, it's hard to tell when the game is well over 60 FPS on a 144Hz monitor, but the fact that they give you this useful tool that tells you it's on is really nice. I really wish uh, AMD would do a similar thing in Radeon settings because currently there is no way uh, to enable any sort of on-screen indicator within Radeon settings, or at least well, as far as I'm aware, uh, and I've been using FreeSync for like two years now, um, there is no way to enable it like this. So I must say I am impressed. I've never used G-Sync ever. I've never looked at a store demo. I've never tried it out at a friend's house ever. I, I mean, this is my first time using it day one on a FreeSync monitor. Uh, and I must say it, it's pretty nice. It's comparable to FreeSync, um, but I do like these little tools that NVIDIA gives you. I, I hope AMD, if, if AMD is watching this, they need to put something like this. Like I mean, it's not that hard, guys. So other than that, let's test that video stuttering problem that was observed uh, previously on, uh, where is it? Let's get to the part with the Vega or the Radeon. Okay. So here is a video, a, this is a YouTube video running at full screen. I'm gonna just run around. I'm gonna go back to the game, because it's in full screen, so it's like the game cuts out when I click out of it. But now it's back, so now, okay, so G-Sync is on. I'm playing the game on one monitor over here, and then that's like the middle monitor, and then the right monitor has the YouTube video playing full screen. It doesn't matter if it's full screen or just in the browser. Um, it is not lagging the way it does on the FreeSync setup. So that's nice. To, that's very interesting because I was I was thinking that since it is FreeSync, just running off of NVIDIA, it would do the same thing. Like it would it would stutter and lag terribly. Um, but we do need to do one more test. We need to test the we need to test G-Sync on on borderless full screen mode because borderless full screen mode currently on Windows 1809, which is what I'm running right now uh, with FreeSync, is completely broken. Um, in the AMD drivers. So let's see. All right, so I'm back in the control panel. What I'm gonna do is just make one change. We're gonna leave all the on-screen on indicators on because that's very important to test this. Um, and one thing I forgot to mention earlier is that 
with AMD, the only way you can tell if FreeSync is on is you enable in the driver and then you check on the monitor's OSD, the OSD should tell you it's on. So, there, so it is possible to check with AMD or to know that it's running. It's just, it would be nice to have like an additional software tool that indicates it for you. All right, so enable for windowed and full screen mode. We're going to do that. Okay, it would be nice to know like if actually if, if you could do it per monitor. It's kind of weird how it's like it just does it for all the monitors, even though NVIDIA says that you can only enable it on one of them. I don't know. I know I know it's on all three of them because if I check on the OSD on the other two monitors, it shows that FreeSync's enabled. Okay, so now it's on. The display's still on. Oh, not manage 3D settings. Uh, SLI's still on. So everything's still on. So now we're just going to boot back into the game and we're going to test it at borderless full screen mode and see if we get the indicator for G-Sync. All right, so we're loading back up into the game, we're running it borderless full screen mode, and you can see on the left there it says G-Sync on. So that means that FreeSync is indeed enabled for a borderless full screen game, which is amazing because it means that you have the benefit of G-Sync plus you have the very fast, instantaneous uh, clicking over onto your other monitors. So this is this is the ideal setup one on each side or just another monitor that they can be like looking up a wiki on like where I need to go to learn my blue mage spells or whatever so it's really nice that you can do this so uh, uh, now this makes me want to retest FreeSync so I'm probably gonna do another video on the FreeSync implementation on the Vega 64 uh, before Radeon 7 comes out because then we're gonna be doing everything on Radeon 7 so nice to see this G-Sync on uh, let's do the final test. The final test is to test the YouTube video on the other monitor while playing the game simultaneously. Because in my previous video where I tested Crossfire, we found a big bug with FreeSync where the video playback would stutter like crazy while you were playing a game like Final Fantasy XIV that runs, that exceeds 60 FPS. So you can see, let's just look at the frame rate here. So the frame rate we're running at is like 81 FPS. So, so anywhere between 80 and 90 FPS. Borderless windowed mode. G-Sync on, SLI enabled. And then you can see the YouTube video is not stuttering at all. One thing, you guys can't hear the audio, but I am hearing every now and then, like if I'm doing something in the game, if I click real quick and I move around, there is a slight um, audio skip. It's like it skips like one frame, um, but it is nowhere near as bad as what we saw on the Radeon setup. So it's quite, it pains me to say this, but it looks like the G-Sync compatible solution, so aka NVIDIA using FreeSync, actually right now at the time of filming this video with the current drivers that are available, this is actually a better experience than the AMD FreeSync uh, setup equivalent. So right now I'm running GTX 1080 SLI. I don't have any issues with SLI running in borderless full screen or borderless windowed mode. I don't have any issues with the game. I don't have any issues with audio syncing. I mean, G-Sync is on. Uh, the YouTube videos don't stutter. This is pretty good. So I would say this implementation gets an A. This is like really good setup from NVIDIA. Very good implementation. Uh, AMD, if you guys are watching this, you guys got some work to do because we need an indicator for FreeSync to, be, to know that it's on. There needs to be a way to completely turn it off in the driver the way NVIDIA allows us to do it because clicking it off in the driver it turns it off, but it's like the monitor still says FreeSync in the OSD. I'm going to do a video now on uh, AMD's implementation. We're going to take a look at that. We're going to because we're going to show all these issues I'm talking about. I'm going to reiterate them again in another video because this sort of stuff needs to be addressed in order for them to make a better experience for the users. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. This was a first look and review of G-Sync compatible on a FreeSync top tier monitor from Agon, aka AOC. Uh, if you guys like what you see, be sure to subscribe, it helps me out. And 
motivates me to make more videos that are informative like this and hopefully everybody is learning stuff from this and i will catch you guys in the next video thanks